This is a great question because I know this comes up all the time. I'd say one out of five or six listing presentations you go on, right, or buyers you represent, this question happens. And what I tell you is, it's like every answer I give you. You have this imaginary toolbox, and every time someone asks you a question, you have to pull out another tool. And my tool for this question would be, guess what? I know that it says your house is worth this, but let me show you something. Pull this out of my toolbox, and it says, this is the terms of service that they have. It says it can be above or below 20%. That's number one. So I'm telling you that they're not 100% accurate. They're within play, but I can tell you 20% me listing your house for 20% more than I, the professional who are in here, who's not, I'm not a computer, I don't have an algorithm, I'm in the trenches, I'm the real estate pro, I do this all day long, I speak one language, real estate, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I can tell you 20% difference will kill us. It will kill your listing. Your listing will be stale, it will die. You do not want your listing to die, I promise you. And this is the most crucial part, the first three weeks, to get your house sold. And if we price it 20% higher to test out the market, you don't test out this market, my friends. The market tests you out and you will lose. And so I think that's, that's, that's the message to the seller, right? What you guys have to take away from this is the tool and, and, and that you use is in your toolbox. You have many tools in there. Price reduction, negotiations, why you're a better realtor. This one is about Zestimates, right? Which are phenomenal because it's awareness to sellers, but it's not that great because it's giving a price that may not align with your price. And you're smarter than the, the computer. You're smarter than an algorithm. You're smarter than the, the basic comps because you know this house has more or less appeal. You know the upgrades it has. You know more. You're the professional, right? That's what you need to, dis to, to explain it. That's what you need to articulate, that it's up or above, below 20%. And that's simple. Terms of service, print it out, have it in your back pocket. It's that simple.